Brush strokes can be used to create amazing patterns, combining pattern layers with the mirror filter. Created some brushes here using the procedural texture. Please check out the previous videos on how to create these sort of brushes. So let's just remove these layers. You can see over here, layers, pattern layer. You don't have to apply any brush strokes. You can apply just one single dab. Just go here to paintbrush tool, select a brush. I'm just gonna go with this one and just apply it. You got that dab, single dab. It creates a layer and that layer can be turned into a pattern layer. Simply go to layer menu and down to new pattern layer from selection. And there's the design. Now you don't have to just stick with that one. You can create multiple layers. Just a layer. So hold down the alter option key on your keyboard or go to the layer menu and duplicate. And you can just duplicate it. So you can build up a complex design by multiple brush strokes. Select both of the pattern layers. And then you can go to layer menu and you can go down here to merge selected. And that will become also a pattern layer. You use Merge Visible, that will turn it into a pixel layer. This is a pattern layer, which can be resized. And you can see the design there. And you can rotate it, resize it, shear it, and also combine it as well. You can create multiple copies of this. But what you can also do is you can go to Filters, and down to Distort, and you can use any of these filters. I'm gonna go with Mirror. So Mirror, and by default it goes with one. So you've got here number of mirrors, one. And you can move it up and down, you can see the result. Now you'll notice what's happened is you've got this sharp edge. You might not want that. The way around that, go to the top left, select the move tool, make sure that's selected and mirror. Just turn that on and you can see now you've got a seamless design. So again, filters, distort and mirror. And again, just move it backwards and forwards. You can also change the number of mirrors. So you maybe go for six or seven, 10, just as many as you want. And then you can still continue to move the origin point. Just move the cursor. That's all you need to do. Just reposition it. And you can explore all kinds of unique designs. You can also modify the input. So just change that. And you can move it. You can see it goes around 180, 90. Hold down the alter option key and it will move smoothly. So you can see what happens. Just moves like that. And you see, oh, you know, that looks great. I'll go with that. You can also modify the output as well if you want to. So you just move that around. And again, hold down the alter option key to move that smoothly and click apply. And you can still continue to modify that design. Rotate it and shear it. You can also, of course, just go here, repeat mirror, apply it again. Sometimes exploring, you can find even more designs. And of course, at any point, you can always go to File and you can export. So File and Export or just save it. Just save as and just save that design if you're happy with that design. Or save it to your Assets panel. But also what you can do is you can add to this pattern layer using brush strokes. So click here, the Paint Brush tool again. Now, if you've got a very large brush, 300, 400, and you've got a very small pattern layer, it will fill it very quickly. And you can see as you go over there, it gives a preview, which is quite an extreme preview at times as well. Also, you can select different brushes. So I'm just gonna select a different brush, and you can see the design there. Maybe that brush, and you can see the design there. Again, always great to see a preview. You can resize it, of course. Just go over here, and let's just select a brush. I'm just gonna go with this one. Resize it again. This is a thousand, so I'm just going to put it down to about 260, 270, and you can see the design there. And again, that is repeated all over, so you can build up all kinds of complex designs. If you're not happy with it, just undo, select a different one, maybe select that one, and just apply that brush. Many different brushes. Also, a key thing is you can always edit this. So if you decide, you know what, that's not right double click any of the brushes, just modify it. Just change the sizing, change the spacing, you can increase it. Dynamics, 
just modify the size, just a whole range of different. Again, please check out my videos on how to modify brushes and click close and then apply it. And you can see the result there. All kinds of unique designs can be created very quickly using this approach. Again, select another brush, apply it. And you've got another design. And again, you've got a preview, so you can see all kinds of unique. And not only that, you can still move this, resize it, reposition it. Of course, if you resize it very large, you can see the problem. The brush stroke was quite, obviously quite small. You can see it's a bit coarse. So obviously be aware of that. Make it very large, then apply the brush stroke. So again, just go there, paintbrush tool, select that and apply there. And you can see the result of that. And of course you can fill the design and again, it will constantly change. And again, once you're happy with your design, you can always, of course, go to filters and repeat or distort and mirror and just apply a mirror effect to that number of mirrors and you can see design there. And again, you can still continue to modify the origin point, change your input, hold down the alter option key to make it smooth and release and click apply. And there's another design. Again, it's still a pattern design, which you can resize, rotate, move, etc. And that's all using brushes. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.